the 2012-2013 Common Council meeting. Clerk, will you, call, will you read the quote of the day? Thank you. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. And now we will have the roll call. City Clerk. Press one. Fourteen present. Alderman Vanderwilly and Alderman Bourne are excused. Tonight we have joining us uh, a group of Pathfinders Club of Sheboygan. They will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pathfinders, attention, present arms. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Resignation tonight? It wasn't in its first. I'm sorry. Can we ask for the approval of minutes? Or? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I make a motion to approve the minutes of the last Second. council meeting. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the last council meeting. Any discussion? Clerk will call the roll. All those in favor, hold one. Motion carried. Now the resignation. City Attorney. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. There's an email from Alderman Bourne to the mayor on uh, May 24th uh, advising that uh, due to various issues, he's resigning his seat on the City Finance Committee uh, and also resigning as chair of the Public Works Committee. However, he does wish to remain a member of the Public Works Committee and uh, wishes to remain also as chairperson of the Committee of the Whole. That will be accepted and filed. On Mayor's appointments, City Attorney. Honorable Member of the Excuse me, we need a motion to accept and file first. Uh, I'd make a motion to accept and file. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file the resignations. Any discussion? Clerk will call the roll. All those in favor, please press one. 14 ayes. Motion carried. Mayor's appointments, <clears throat> city attorney. Honorable members of the council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration. Alderperson Joseph Heideman to be appointed to the following committees to fill the unexpired term of James Boren. Uh, the committees are Strategic Physical Planning Committee, Sheboygan Transit Commission and Board of Marina Park and Forestry Commissioners, all terms expiring 4-15-2013. Alderperson Corey Raisler to be appointed to the Finance Committee to fill the unexpired term of James Warren, whose term expires 4-15-2013. And Alderperson Joseph Heideman will, <coughs> will replace Alderperson Boren as Chairman of Public Works Committee, and Alderperson Boren will replace Joseph Heideman as Vice Chairman of Public Works, both terms to expire 4-15-2013, signed by the Mayor. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would ask that uh, we suspend the rules um, and uh, vote tonight on these nominations. Is there any objections to suspending the rules? Seeing none, proceed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the need to suspend the rules is we've got committee meetings um, coming up. Um, strategic fiscal planning tomorrow and I'd like to have full committees for all of those so I would move to confirm the appointments as presented. Second. 
It's been moved and seconded to confirm the appointments. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. First, could you vote one to suspend, please? Oh, sure. That would be great. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Now the motion to approve. Bill? Number one. Thank you. Okay. 14 ayes. Again, the motion carries. Public forum, City Clerk. Uh, we have one this evening, Milt Storm. Milt, if you could come up to the front, please. Milt, can I have your home address? Yes, yeah, it's 1736 Marvin Court. And you will have five minutes, sir. Thank you. I'm not trying to be funny, but I was up in Sturgeon Bay with my identical twin brother and we went for a walk in the woods. And I found this stick and I found it very useful. But I call it a staff similar to what Moses had, only with the exception I have yet to figure out how to change it into a serpent. So, but I, I find it works very good and aids me with my knees in my old age. So I want to thank the mayor and the council members here for addressing you to this evening. It was the spur of the moment that I decided this, and that's only because we had our monthly meeting with Neighbors Against Drugs, commonly known as NAD. Our group has dwindled a little bit because we have mostly retired individuals, but we still are a group that is very dedicated to the eradication of drug activity not only here in the city, but we're thinking about maybe going into the county if they so desire us to have it. Our group was really the first forerunner for what uh, is now Chief Demogowski has started. When we got complaints from neighborhoods, we went and made surveys and we took uh, information from them and we found that uh, if there was any drug dealing, we went in with our signs and and we were very receptive by many neighborhoods, although there were many neighbors who were a little antsy about us coming in there. I just want to compliment uh, Chief Demogowski for what he has now continued, what we started. I just learned today that, uh, talking to my neighbor, that I'm in section number 47. So I told the Chief that I can remember that because I would then have celebrated my 47th birthday for the 35th time. Our group is still alive, and we're willing to assist in every way that neighborhoods still feel the need if we can be of assistance. Must have lost the page here. We started this organization way back in July of 2003, and I've been a premier member of that organization for approximately now eight years. At that time, there was a void here in the city of Sheboygan, especially with the police department, what to do about the drug dealing that we had in the city. And we found out that our NAD organization, as we call ourselves, filled that void. We put up signs, we first surveyed neighborhoods to see if they were receptive to whether they wanted to participate in removing drug dealing, and we found some were and some were not. Our group is still alive, and uh, although we don't uh, are that visible anymore, but with uh, Sh Sheriff Preby now going into the county, we are also looking to see if we can be some assistance out in the county. But we don't go in until we are requested to do something. So I just thought I would let the citizens of Sheboygan and Sheboygan County know that we're still here and we're willing to do whatever we can. And as the Brits would say in their term, cheerio, old chum. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Milton. and thank you for your years with the Neighbors Against Drugs. 
On to the consent agenda. Chairman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, motion to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass our, all ROs, pass all RCs, all ordinances, and resolutions. Is there any discussion? It's, it's 2 1 through 2 19. See none, clerk will call the roll. Uh, one would be yes, two would be no, three abstain. 14 ayes. Motion carried. 3 1 to 3 6 will be referred. Resolutions 4 1, a resolution authorizing the mayor to sign an agreement <clears throat> to sign three requests to release funds and certified forms. So to permit release of funds held by the Housing Authority. Alderman Ammon. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? See none. Clerk will call the roll. One yes, two no, three abstain. Thirteen ayes, one abstention. Motion carried. 4-2, a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to solicit proposals for purchase of a thermal drying equipment associated with biosolids bio and dewatering and drying improvements at the regional wastewater treatment plant. Alderman Hammond. Alderman Heideman. Thank you. I need a motion to suspend the rules. Second. It's been moved and seconded to suspend the rules. And, uh, and I want to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. First, we have to vote on the suspension mm -hmm. of rules. All those in favor, push one. one. two, no. Jeremy, thank you. 14 ayes. Now the motion. And a, a motion to pass the resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded for to pass the resolution. Okay, under Manhattan. discussion, I'd like to have Dale come up and give us a little bit of an explanation on why we're spending $3 million or $9 million. Okay. Good afternoon, Mayor and, and uh, Council. Uh, the wastewater treatment plant uh, is uh, in our last permit uh, uh, upgrade. Uh, we were uh, in violation of meeting our biosolid storage capacity. It doesn't mean we're in any way or form in any trouble, but they put us on a construction schedule, uh, schedule to put in, do something to do that. We could either <coughs> put in additional storage or put in a biosolids drying. Uh, the cost for that project uh, over uh, 20 years is about the same whether we put in more storage or we put in drying. Uh, the biggest difference is with storage is we still are, uh, the, the two other people have a little bit more authority than we, uh, the farmers, uh, the land that we apply it on, and Mother Nature, because if it's too wet, the farmers won't let you on the rain on the land, and if it's uh, and obviously if it's too raining, uh, you can't get it out either. So we we looked at the option of drying, and so what we're doing is we're, this project we're going to look at purchasing the equipment up front to design around it because there's there's three main manufacturers that make a belt dryer, uh, and if we tried to design. They all have different components are uh, built differently. And if we tried to design around that, we'd have to make three design uh, documents for it. So we're going to go in and look at the dryer systems and bid and then design the construction around that. So this purchase, by purchasing up front, we save on sales tax. It allows us to better meet our schedule with the DNR. We have to have something up and running by September of 2014. Uh, obviously, that leaves some construction time in there as well. So. Uh, this is a, it took us a little bit to get to this point, so that we're kind of a little bit behind the eight ball, and, and that's why we're asking to suspend the rules. Thank you. Any, any questions? Again, this is to uh, go out for bids, not to, to right. okay the final projects. Right. Thank you, Dale. Any other discussion? Clerk will call the roll. Ayes one, nays two, and abstain three. 13 ayes, 1 abstention. The resolution passes. 
4-3, resolution lifting the hiring freeze for benefits administrator in the Human Resources Department. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'd move to suspend the rules, please. Second. It's been moved and seconded to suspend the rules. We've only voted on three things, and two out of the three we suspended <laughs> rules. Consistent. Okay. <laughs> we need to vote on the suspension first? Yes. There was a second? Mm -hmm. 14 ayes. Thank you. I'd move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Any discussion? Alderman Versa. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just to, if we can get a brief explanation on the reasoning behind lifting the higher increase. Alderman Raisler. Sure, thank you. The, uh, the benefits coordinator is uh, on an indefinite medical leave, and there's no anticipated uh, return at this point in time. Thanks. Any other discussion? Clerk will call the roll. Uh, one yes, two no, three abstention. 14 ayes. Motion carried. 4-4 four, four through 4-10 will be referred. 5-1 through 5-3 will be referred. Steve. Other matters, Steve? Attorney McLean. 6-1 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2013 and June 30, 2014. That will send to law and licensing. 6.2 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Pamela Schneckloth stating her concerns regarding Wildwood Cemetery and the activities of the families of the deceased leaving trash all over grave sites in section 18. That will send to public works. 6.3 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2013 and June 30, 2014. That we will send to law and license. 6.4 is an RO by the city clerk submitting communication from Danny Beeman requesting a waiver from the sex offender residency restrictions in order to live at 1332 North 7th Street. That will send to public protection and safety. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved, seconded to adjourn. One yes, two no, three abstain. 14 eyes. We're adjourned. Don't forget to bring your voting things back up, please.